good morning good morning subscribers hope you all are fine and happy new year to all good morning good morning subscribers so today's topic that we have is we look up how we can apply we look up and what is the use of we look up but before that i just want to introduce myself this is vishal i'm the founder of short and clear excel right now i have 2.5 2.5 lakh plus subscribers over youtube and our, our other social media if i will total that i have 4 lakh plus community on different social medias so i am just teaching excel and power bi nowadays and let's start this session without any delay because we have only 10 minutes to complete this session so what i'm going to cover today is the we look the trending topic of excel when we are using excel and the interviewer also asked the same question how we can apply the we look up how we can look up for the data so these are the question asked by interviewers so this we are going to cover today so let's get started i'm just sharing my screen hopefully my screen is visible let me check that also if you have any doubt you can even ask in the chat box so today i have taken very important topic that is relevant for all when we are using excel so let's get started i'm just sharing i'm just checking my voice is audible or not properly yeah my screen is also visible now so we have one data set that we will use today here what we have we have employee id full name job title department business unit gender ethnicity age hire date annual salary bonus country city and exit date so uh, before starting this video one thing i just want to say here i have started this series i'm starting a series of live session out uh, from today only so i will cover from basic to advanced so that you can learn on youtube live session without paying any amount so this is free sessions you can attend on daily basis morning will be the timing uh, like i will be live uh, at 7 am around around 7 am i will be live for 10 minutes only i will cover one topic that will be relevant to you all on daily basis so let's get started this topic that is we look up topic so first i will give you one scenario here what we have we have around 1000 rows data 1000 rows data and i just want to why this we look up function is used first i will just discuss about that scenario so this we look up function is used when we have let's say multiple rows data and we want to find out let's say here what we have employee id in the second sheet only five five employee id's data we need to find out so one method that we have that is the manual method we can use find option that is control f is the shortcut for that we can use that also just to find out this employee id control c and i will find this data in the whole column of employee id by using control f and i will paste it by using control v and find so this is the manual method then we will do copy and paste and it will take time if i will copy and paste in the sheet too so this is the look up scenario we have when we want to look up for a data in our whole data set for some employee ids this uh, situation or this scenario will come under the we look up so how we can solve this scenario this is very simple we can apply the we look up here in the second sheet because i want to look up data in the second sheet and i want to look up from which sheet i want to look up from sheet 1 so how we can do that is equal to we look up okay let me zoom in also so that you will get clear formula yeah so i want to find out this employee id's full name job title department and business unit by using we look up 
is equal to VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is mainly used when you want to look up for a data. So we have a description. When we are typing any formula, you will get this description also. So when we are using any formula, you have to read this description. Lookup looks for a value in the leftmost column. Leftmost column means it will looks for a value. Like if you are finding this lookup value, it should be, or if you are finding this, it should be in the table array of the leftmost column, right? Then only you are able to get the result. So looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So this is the description we have. Let's open the bracket. First, we need to give the lookup value. So what is the lookup value? So this employee ID that we want to find out is our lookup value, then comma. Now, what is the table array? Table array is that where this lookup value is present, where your whole data is present, that is called as table array for this VLOOKUP function. So table array will be in sheet one. Let's move to the sheet one. And now I'm selecting the table array from the employee ID. Why I'm selecting from the employee ID? Because VLOOKUP will search only in the leftmost column. So this employee ID should be in the leftmost column of your table array. So we have to select like this. I'm selecting my five columns starting from employee ID because this employee ID should be in the left of your table array. So this sheet one, then we have excla exclamation sign then A to E. So this is the range that we have selected and this is called as table array. Right now it is not required to freeze this because we have selected from above. We are not selecting the table like range, but we are selecting from the columns. So this is not required to freeze this freeze means we are not able. We are not trying to use here absolute reference, then use comma again. Okay. Now what, what we have, we have column index number. So which column I want in return, we have to type in this, in this column index number. So let's say if I want in return full name, so I will type here two. Two is why I'm typing two because if you will count in your table array, that full name column is in, in it is in which position, then full name is on the second position. So we will type here two and then you use comma. Okay, we have two scenarios here in the range lookup syntax. So these are called as syntax lookup value, table array, column index number, and range lookup syntax or argument you can both say okay then we have range lookup that is the last syntax and here we have two options true or false so first option is true approximate match second option is false that is exact match so what is the meaning of this so first uh, option approximate match is mainly used when we have ascending order data and we when we want to get the range scenario range means like let, let's say if you have some uh, range the values in the first column of a table must be sorted in ascending order. Let's say if you have, uh, okay, I will cover this aspect also with the relevant example because right now we don't have any relevant example for approximate match because I don't want approximate match result right now. I want exact match result right now. So for that aspect, I will use false here. We will cover it later how we can use approximate match also with the relevant example because in that example, we need ranges ranges in ascending order. So for now I'm using exact match. So we have to use false. Even we can use zero in this. Let's close the bracket and press enter. Let's see what we will get. So we are getting full name, but we are not getting job title department or business unit. So how we can get that? So that is very important question. Right now we are getting only full name of this employee ID. We are not getting all full name, job title, department and business unit. So in this case, what we can do, if you have the new versions of Excel, nowadays you can use even the curly brackets. Curly brackets is very important method of VLOOKUP in the VLOOKUP. In the column index number syntax, we can use curly bracket just by typing two comma three comma four comma five, because I want for result in return that is full name job title department and business unit and these four result are on the sheet one 
first not on first column but second column third column fourth column and fifth column so we can press enter and automatically we will get four result in return just by using vlookup func function so this is the very important function that we have today let's drag this function down and we will get all the result in a one go so instead of finding manually we can use vlookup just by using curly brackets if you want to get your result in a one go if you have any doubt you can ask in the chat box so this part is clear let me know any doubt so we have applied we look up from even we can apply in the same sheet. I'm applying VLOOKUP in another sheet right now of the same workbook, of the same workbook. And now what is the benefit of this? Even if you will change here any employee ID or if you will add more employee IDs, let's say if I will add from this range, I'm selecting copying and let's paste it here. And now directly we can drag this down and we have a result. So I've copied the same employee ID. So we have duplicate here. Let's delete this. Okay. So now we have the result that is in a correct format. Let's check this also. And this is, yeah. So we are getting the correct result. Even if, even we can check this. If any doubt, you can ask. So this practice sheet also I will share so that you can do practice with me on daily basis. Please be available at 7 a.m. I will be live with a new topic uh, from basic to advanced level. I will cover in this in these live sessions. So be available in the live session at 7 p.m. or not 7 p.m. but 7 a.m. Okay. If any doubt, you can do comment. So I have given some practice. Uh, practice data sets also you can even apply here we look up here also you can apply we look up in another sheet you can try to apply we look up so this is how we can use we look up but sometime we are getting some errors also so in that case we will cover that part in our coming sessions of uh, in live sessions only we will cover that part also why we are getting errors and how we can resolve that so stay tuned with me thank you so much for joining the live session and uh, if you have joined late, so please uh, go through the full video and if any doubt, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much.